Hello, Brian Ropp with Lux Fifth Wheels, and I've got a few exciting things to show you today. We've got a brand new floor plan that we've come out with and developed. It's our 47 FB toy hauler. I'm also here finally in our brand new showroom in Elkhart. Um, so you get to see both debut at the same time. So with our toy haulers, um, you're gonna have varied garage sizes. This particular coach has a little bit bitter. <clears throat> this particular coach has a little bit larger living space, um, but still a 12 and a half foot garage. So should you need a bike or a golf cart, you can easily take it with you. Um, as you can see, the one we're gonna look at today is equipped with an office, or as you will see, the one we're gonna look at today is equipped with an office. So we'll just do a quick outside inside uh, and show you around. So all of our units are gonna be full paint. So we use an automotive paint, no decals, double clear, wet sand and buff. This is our standard two color paint. They opted to go with the black and the white. One piece seamless fiberglass caps on the front. All of our caps front and rear are very well insulated in addition to our side walls um, as well. And we'll talk about kind of what components go in there. All of our walls are three inches thick. Um, and then I do have a wall piece offcut. We'll talk about when we're inside. Up front, you have the generator bay. This one is equipped with a 7.0 gas generator. All of your components up front for your batteries, your shutoffs for your inverter and your uh, batteries themselves, your hydraulic pump for your leveling jacks. So all of our leveling jacks are six points of leveling by equalizer. They are all color-coded in individual hoses that home run back to this pump. So it makes troubleshooting quite a bit easier. Um, also more substantial jack in general uh, with the width of the arms and the pads themselves. This coach is optioned with a fourth vanity slide. It has window silks on it um, and slide room toppers. So those are some of the options that have been added to this one. Uh, we can go ahead and talk about the cameras as well. Four cameras with that uh, setup. You've got side view, backup, and then you have a door observation camera. There's a monitor that will go from your truck to the coach itself so you can see um, in either location. We've got two 40-pound tanks on either side for your LP. They are removable. They've got an auto... Uh, Regular, re regulator switch that switches over. Your compartment doors themselves are substantially thicker than the most of the others you will see out there. They're very heavy duty um, and they're slam latch as well. You've got a Moride tray slide that will come out either side and you can pull it out the other side and then it locks. I've got an outside radio that is Bluetooth capable, works with your marine speakers on the exterior, a 110 outlet. You get a little sneak peek in there. Um, all of our windows are going to be dual pane frameless windows. Um, they're all going to be a crank out window for your ventilation. All of our belt rail is going to be completely covered and seamless, so you've got metal fender skirting on the base, and then the transition between the fiberglass and the metal is completely covered. You don't have any exposed screws all along the side of this rig. And as you can see, the fender skirt itself is all metal. You've got your midship marker lights. Awning is gonna have LED lighting in it. Um, you've got two on this unit. You can get an additional rear awning should you choose. You've got a step above, solid step on the rear and forward in the living area. And then uh, in the garage, you can kind of peek in and see that we've equipped this one with the soft touch walls in the coach as well. The extended grab handle is a new addition. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier to get up into the unit. Back here, we've got an LP quick disconnect, which would be standard on all of our coaches. So you can quick connect into an LP unit, um, have an external grill for uh, cooking outside. We've got the patio 
awning or patio uh, setup here so you can see the space that's got the railing on it with your steps and then the veranda doors are open on this particular unit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take you inside. All right, we're inside the new 47FB. It has the newer interior gray shaker cabinetry um, and some new touches in here, but if you could believe it or not, this is a toy hauler. Uh, nobody builds a toy hauler like we do. You can see this feels like a traditional luxury fifth wheel. Um, we, we do pride ourselves in the components being used with our all solid hardwood cabinetry throughout. Um, we've got soft close drawers that I'll show you. Um, really, we're a residential grade build. Uh, a lot of our clients are full time, so we do try and cater to the insulation, the amenities, and the durability of the longevity of the components going into these units. So I did tell you I was going to talk to you a little bit about our walls. Um, the gel coat fiberglass that's on the exterior of this is going to be mounted on Asdel. That product is 100% moisture resistant, mildew resistant, it's also formaldehyde free. The interior of that, we've got a block foam insulation that's graphite infused. It is closed cell foam. So this is never going to saddle in your sidewalls over time. It's not going to mold or mildew. It's not going to retain or wick any moisture. Then the Luon board that either your wall board will go on to or our soft touch walls, which this unit has. This then has adhesive in between all these individual layers and then is vacuum bond laminated. So it goes into what looks like a big garbage bag and they slowly suck out every little bit of air in between all of these layers. It creates a very solid piece. In addition, all of our windows, doors, compartment doors, everything's framed out, welded aluminum. It is wood filled if it's load bearing. So you really have a solid sidewall before it ever even goes onto your uh, 12 inch I-beam uh, frame construction. So in here I've got a love seat. Uh, I can do recliners. This is the Lambright furniture with a cloth upgrade, which is available. They do have some cloth options um, as we get asked sometimes. They opted to do a few little different shelving uh, here up to their loft. The vapor door itself is normally for your toys to keep your vapors out um, completely sealed from the front, but in this case, you don't necessarily need that. You've got the ASA touch panels for all of your lighting. This will run multiple uh, lights in the area in which they are. You also have an app available on your phone that you can run all these lights, you can dim, you can completely shut them off. Makes it quite convenient. This is the theater seating. That's the Lux style again, Lambright. Has the little fold down cup, uh, cup holders. All your overhead cabinets, again, all solid hardwood cabinetry. We want to add storage wherever there is storage available. The toy haulers come standard with our booth seating. So this particular uh, booth has the storage underneath with a nice solid storage drawers. I can do a buffet with the outside entertainment center in this particular unit. There is enough space available for that should you want that to be uh, in your rig. Going over to the other side in our kitchen slide room, we've got the TV, LG TV, the sound bar. You've got hidden storage back behind, easy access to all the inputs, outputs, should you need. Fireplace, 5000 BTU fireplace below. Our uh, fridge is gonna run off of your inverter. It's 2000 watt inverter that will run the fridge when you're going down the road. Um, you can upgrade to the water and ice in the door. It's the LG, again, French drawer uh, on the bottom. Got a nice large pantry for all your food storage needs. Again, I told you we talk about those drawers all dovetailed on all four corners, actual real wood bottoms. Everything we do is undermount drawer glides. Doesn't cut out on side to side storage. You can see there it's full side to side. That also helps to support that in addition. And then again, they're soft close. 
LG microwave. It's a convection microwave. This unit <clears throat> just has a cooktop. It's a Furion three burner cooktop. Uh, we do have those full residential ranges available as well. And this coach has the sink covers that will go over top of the range. So when you're going down the road, you don't have to worry about that coming off. Yeah. We've got a coffee nook in here, storage overhead. Again, this is a toy hauler, but look at the amount of counter space in this kitchen. We've got a flip down little sponge tray, drawers, cabinets, under sink. Um, all of our sinks themselves have individual shutoffs on all of the plumbing at the point where it comes in. This one has a composite single bowl sink. Uh, in the ivory, there's about six colors available. Should you want to stow your sink uh, covers, they'll be here underneath the silverware tray that you can put them. Dishwasher can go right here. If not, just additional storage. All right, I'll head up and I'll show you the bathroom. Uh, the bedroom setup's just a little bit different with that vanity slide. Um, so we'll just head on up there. Your main control panels are gonna be here in the hallway. Uh, this is your in command. It's gonna run all of the functions throughout. Again, when we talk about the app on the phone, um, all of our doors, passage doors, are gonna be complete solid hardwood. They're not hollow core. Um, you're gonna have barn doors um, on your bedroom and your bathroom areas. In this bathroom, we've got our residential panel shower. A Little bit spacier or roomier. Um, than the 48 and the 44. Gives you just a little bit more elbow room uh, in there where you're preparing. All right, here in the bedroom, um, we've got the vanity slide, which kind of changes the configuration on the closet up front. So as you can see, I've got a lot more space here because these are both slide rooms. So should you want a little bit more room in your bedroom area uh, to get ready for the day, it might be a good option for you to consider. It will turn the closet here into a walk-in closet. Um, and I can always add those dresser drawers that are um, in our Elite Series, which they opted to in the shoe closet to kind of give it a little bit more uh, storage up front. We've got a king bed. It is a sleep number, you can tell, because you've got this little remote here. Nightstands on either side. We're going to have USB combo outlets here for plug-ins. Um, at most of the spaces, you're going to hang out your seating areas, your bed, obviously. Overhead storage, individual reading lights, and the um, soft touch in here as well. So you can kind of see what it looks like, an all gray interior, a little bit different, more modern look. I can mix and match that cabinetry should you choose to do so. But most of all, I just really wanted to show you this really awesome rig. Um, let's just go ahead and end in the garage. She's out on the patio, hanging out, having a good time. And I'm in here uh, in the veranda doors. You can completely close these. These have glass inserts that will slide up. You can also completely un uh, latch these from the door frame itself and swing them wide should you need to load toys. Um, and it, just keep in mind, it cuts down on the side to side a little bit. So you'll wanna consider that as you uh, talk about the width of your toys but it's a really, really nice feature. You can completely shut the back here um, from the bugs and the elements. We've also got the toolbox here. Nice amount of storage in the garage. It actually goes side to side in the frame uh, for the additional storage. It's um, a good add to the garage. This particular coach has been done more like a little living area 
um, as you can see with continuing the flooring throughout. They've also opted to not go with the bunk system, but we were able to utilize those um, Happy Jack rails to accommodate desks. So these would be desks that can go on up and stow when they're not using them. Um, and then they have this space here to come and hang out. Not normally in this big of a TV, this is a special request. As you can see, it takes up the entire space, um, but it is possible to do in this 47. This particular one has a bathroom that has a washer dryer in it, I believe. Um, so we'll check that out too. You can see one of the little bit different uh, configurations we can do on the bathroom. Loft up top, you can gain access on this side or the other. Um, this actually has a bunk mattress up in here, really nice space uh, to house some guests. Yep, absolutely. Washer dryer uh, cabinet in here with a little vanity sink and toilet back in the rear. All right, I'd like to thank you for coming through uh, with me to look at the 47 FB and I appreciate your time. Please give us a call should you have any questions.